Hi, my name's Adam. Thanks for watching. This is Real Home Recording. In this video, I'll be talking about sample rate. Sampling rate is defined as the amount of times audio is sampled per second. So if our sampling rate is 44.1 kilohertz, that means that 44,100 times per second our audio is sampled. Uh, for 96 kilohertz, that's 96,000 times per second. That's a lot of sampling. Um, why is this important? And what are, what are the many controversies of sampling rate? Well, a lot of people think, well, you know, human hearing only goes up to about 20 kilohertz if you're a child, if you're a human child. So why record at higher bit rates? What's the point? The point isn't to record higher frequencies. Up to a point with sampling rate, you cannot record the full spectrum of human hearing, which is approximately 44.1 kilohertz. Actually, it's more like 40, 40 kilohertz, but they, they add a little bit of extra padding um, for the CD format. CD format's 44.1. I do not record at 44.1 for very good reason. Um, I don't have a $30,000 digital converter. The two systems that I use, the two interfaces that I use, are under $1,000. It's to the best of my knowledge to use these interfaces at their native sampling rate, which is 96 kilohertz. If you have a more expensive converter, such as a Lynx, um, RME is also pretty good. Lavery. There's various other ones. But if you've spent the bucks on your digital converter, go right ahead and record at 441. But for those of us who can't mortgage a house to buy digital audio converters, 96 to me is the way to go. And again, it's not to record higher frequencies because that's already covered once you hit 441. What you're doing when you record at higher sampling rates is allowing for essentially um, like distortion and uh, there's some noise artifacts that can happen. There's a lot of bad stuff that can happen as digital processing goes on at lower sampling rates. <coughs> now, there's a lot of plugins and there's a lot of hardware that will upconvert to higher sampling rates. But to me, it's like, well, why bother? You know, why not record at the higher sampling rate to begin with and just not have to oversample? Uh, this is a much debated topic. Dan Lavery, who is a pretty big um, audio conversion guy, has stated that the ideal sampling rate is actually right around 60 kilohertz, but there's no audio interfaces that I know of that really do that as a base. Most of them do 441, they do 48 kilohertz, 88.2, and 96. Um, now as far as cheaper converters are concerned, I say 96 because that's, again, that's, that's a native sampling rate. And in cheaper converters, the decimator, um, from what I've been told, is typically compromised and it, it'll make anything that sounds bad at 96 kilohertz sound even worse at lower sampling rates. From my experience, really 48 kilohertz isn't too bad. That's kind of my compromise format if you're using a slower, older computer. But if you're on a modern machine, and by that I mean anything like from 2009 onwards, 96 kilohertz is not gonna kill you. As a matter of fact, um, at the studio, I'm using a computer that was built in 2005, and we're using 96 kilohertz. Now, I am doing a lot of bouncing because the computer can't handle that high of a sampling rate. My other idea was to actually down convert the files to a lower sampling rate and as, as the final step replace those files with the higher sampling rate files. It's an option. It's something that I often do with video files um, 
you'll use standard definition files when you're editing and then as the last step you'll add in the HD files or if you're shooting film 4k um, it's a whole other topic but essentially it's the same idea so yeah again my, my suggestion for sampling rate is whatever your native sampling rate is for your processor whatever the top sampling rate is uh, actually Dan Lavery said that 192 kilohertz is overkill and can actually introduce distortion he calls it marketing sampling rate because essentially after 96 it's overkill and I don't think he actually sells any audio digital converters that go past 96 um, there's also a guy who says that 50 kilohertz is ideal um, and then there's people who like myself who say go for the native format 96 so uh, yeah this will be a topic that's debated for a long time to come but I just say use whatever the top sampling rate you have and then go from there this has been Adam from realhomerecording.com see you in the next video